Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to my review of Ghosts in the Shell. Now, I'm just going to say right now that I am not an anime fan at all whatsoever. This is actually the first time I've ever even watched an anime. Like, I've never gotten into it. I've never gotten into Dragon Ball Z. Is Dragon Ball Z anime? Did it? I hope it is. Like, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, I've never been into any of that kind of stuff. The closest thing to any of the kind of like that... The, you know, the more Asian animation or movie type thing is Godzilla. That's the closest I've gotten to Pokemon, uh, anime, Dragon Ball Z, any of that kind of stuff is just Godzilla. But with the Ghost in the Shell movie coming out, a movie which I will be going to see purely for the story, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at this and, you know, get my feet wet in the anime genre. And I gotta say that I was surprised how much I liked this movie. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I I mean that. So I'm gonna say that like right now that I'm not gonna go into too much of like the philosophical stuff with this because like I could probably make a whole long video about that and honestly I don't have the energy to think about all that kind of stuff that the movie was you know presenting. I'm just gonna go off of what I saw and what I got out of it. So first off let me just say the animation is beautiful. This is some of the best cell animation I have ever seen. I mean, the movie is just so, it's its gorgeous. Like, you can watch this movie with the audio off, and you can still enjoy it. Like, it's so detailed, and just so, like, I just don't know how to explain it. The animation is just amazing. I love that everything is so detailed in the background, but it doesn't look muddy. It doesn't look overdone. You know how, like, if you put too much detail in a drawing, it kind of looks muddy, it doesn't look right? This movie, like, it, it, it looks photorealistic. The story for this movie goes is that, like, humans have, like, evolved. This takes place, like, way in the future and, like, this, like, dystopian, like, Hong Kong or I think it's called, what, Central Pacific City or something? I don't know. I don't remember the name of the city. But anyway, it, like, it's in the future. It's got, like, a very cyberpunk thing going on that, like, humans have are like turning more and more into machine like they're replacing their body parts with machines so they can live longer it's pretty much that like you can have like your soul or a ghost as they call it in a computer and they just download it into a new body for you something like that and it's a really interesting concept and like it kind of goes into like how people are starting to lose like more and more touch like with the human side of things they're becoming more and more machine like this movie is very much what the matrix wanted to be like it's straight up it opens up with like the green code and everything like the matrix is pretty much a rip off of this movie which is like one of the reasons that i don't really like think the matrix is all that great because i always felt like it was just a big rip off of a lot of other things that's a whole nother video though the two main characters matoko and bato I love them. I think that they're great. Matoko, she is like, uh, I really like her because like she, she has no concept of like human feelings and everything. Like she has no problem like walking around in like this skin tight outfit that I really hope that we see a lot of in the live action movie because Scarlett Johansson is going to be in it. Just saying. But that just shows that like she has no like really feeling of like how humans view other humans like when it comes to like sexuality and things like that. I loved her partner Bato. It's like it's a it's a great, you know, they're just great characters in this movie. I love watching them and I love hearing them talk. So in the movie Matoko and Bato are tracking down this cybernetic villain called the Puppet Master. This is a really interesting villain because it's like an artificial intelligence that wasn't born from a human it was born in like the internet pretty much like out there in the sea of information and it's like this really like you know dead lifeless voice and everything but it's interesting like i really like it because like it ex it explores what like you know the difference between human intelligence and artificial intelligence and it's a really fascinating movie and i'm surprised how much i got into it because usually I'm not a fan of this type of, you know, cyberpunk, sci-fi type thing. And I'm not a fan of anime, but this movie was great. Like, I would have no problem seeing it again. In fact, I might go buy it on Blu-ray. I really love all the characters in this movie. I loved everything about it. I hope that the movie with Scarlett Johansson does this movie justice. I don't know if that's going to be pulling from... You know, I know there's a lot of sequels that are considered to be standalone or, or whatever that I, I, I don't know if... 
that's going to be pulling from this movie as well as the sequels, and I believe there's a TV series. I, I don't know. There's a lot to this. Of the animated movies, I'm probably only going to see this one, although I might sit down one day and watch the sequels and some of the other stuff. But back to the movie, it is kind of distracting that this movie takes place in Asia with Asian people, yet the movie has Scarlett Johansson as the lead, and it's... It is distracting us. Like, you couldn't find an Asian actress to play that? And don't get me wrong, I love Scarlett Johansson. I just don't think that she's right for the character of Motoko. And I, I really like the character of Motoko. The movie does look beautiful, though, and I hope that it captures this look of the, the animated movie. Because the animated movie just looks, it looks beautiful. Like, I can't stress this enough that this is some of the best animation I've seen. Overall, guys, I love Ghost in the Shell. If you want to get into anime, I definitely recommend this movie because it honestly kind of got me into anime a little bit because I, I not that I want to go out and like watch like all the anime movies ever but like I want to at least watch more Ghost in the Shell stuff so maybe someday I'll you know watch the sequels and everything but for now I just wanted to review this movie so that way I can see it and compare it to the new Ghost in the Shell live action movie that's going to be coming out I hope the live action version is good I know there's a lot of controversy around you know Scarlett Johansson being Matoko and everything in the movie but Overall, I'm, I'm excited. I, I hope that it is just as good as the cartoon, but I highly doubt that anything is going to be able to top that. I don't even think any of the sequels from what I've heard have topped that. Oh, and one more thing. I hope that we get a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the opening credits of the animated movie and the live-action one because it just had so much story and so much substance that I would love to see Scarlett Johansson reenact that. Just saying. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.